What's going on guys? It's Johnny, aka Tropical Fish Guy. Today we're going to be talking about tetras. Not any particular tetras in general, just the whole tetra family, how cool they are. I was looking at my uh, tetra tank, just admiring it, and just want to share my thoughts with you on it. All right, this is my 20 long tetra tank. I call it the tetra tank because it mostly has tetras, has other stuff in there too, but mostly tetras. Now tetras in general to me are very active, colorful fish. I mean they're, they've got personality, they're always swimming. There's, they're those fish that you always see up front, always wanting food. They, they're hardy, they're pretty forgiving about you know water conditions. Now I'm not saying don't have bad water conditions, but if you hadn't done a water change in a while, they're not going to be the most delicate fish to die off. Uh, and there's such a variety of tetras as well. I mean, here you'll see the sparkling guys. I will do. I will do definitely do a uh, a care guide on these guys. These are diamond tetras. Look at that. Look how pretty those are. Those are diamond tetras. Now these diamond tetras, as you can see, they sparkle like like diamonds, right? I mean, hence the name diamond tetra. And when they're swimming in a school, you can see those four right there swimming in a school. I need to get some more, but I was just testing those out to see how they did. They are doing wonderful, wonderful. You can see the red serpe tetras. They're also going about their business as well. Very hardy, beautiful looking fish, right? I mean, you can see the white cloud mountain minnows. Those aren't tetras at all, but they go uh, good with tetras uh, since they're fast moving fish. We've got uh, some black skirt tetras here as you can see right there black skirt tetras They do good. They kind of they don't move around as much. They just kind of flicker about Of course the neons neon tetras Everybody knows the neons. They love to school together. The more the merrier with the neons. They add a nice splash of color a really good schooling fish I'll have to say is the rummy nose tetra these guys these guys here they always stick together there's they're always schooling they're always hanging out i'll put a link to the rummy nose tetra video that i did and other videos that i did i can't remember i might have done white cloud maybe not i might have done neons i know i did a serpe okay so i'll do a serpe tetra and the glow light tetra here's some glow light tetras those are really cool as well so this tank cram packed with tetras Oh, hold on. So bottom feeding, you want to know? Got a bristle nose Placo. Can you see him right there? Oh, he knew I was talking about him. He just flared his fin right there. Nice looking bristle nose. As well as I've got a bunch of coolie loaches that are really cool that you never see. Yeah. And believe it or not, do you see those back there? Those are actually cherry shrimp. So the tetras don't bother the cherry shrimp at all which is weird i thought they would like the bigger bigger ones would munch on them uh, and i originally this was a shrimp tank i moved the shrimp out but apparently i left accidentally left a few but they're doing great they're doing really great so i'm actually starting to feed those more knowing that they're going to do good oh there's the coolie loach right there there's one of them that's his house there's one back there do you see him oh, 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 oh he just took off oh i think you can see his tail Yep, he took off, but there's a nice looking one there. He lives underneath that plant. We've got a few of them that live back there. And I'll go ahead and feed these fish and you'll see the tetras. I mean, they're so hands off that, not hands off, they're some of the easiest fish to take care of. They'll eat practically anything. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a couple examples. And I, I think I, I did a, a video on what to feed what i feed my fish and i'll put that link up there as well but they're talking they know i'm talking about feeding so today i got a variety like i said but today i'm going to be feeding the uh, new life spectrum optimum flakes as round number one yes round number one you heard me because there's going to be multiple rounds so i'm going to give them a good pinch here and and watch as how they just ravenously Watch this, watch this. Oh, you gotta see this. Oh, it's like piranhas, man. Look at that. Look at that. 
They're not scared to eat, that's for sure. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. And you might think that's a lot, but it's really a lot. <laughs> but they'll eat it, right? And so, you know, the more you feed, you know, uh, more frequent water changes, of course, or, you know, densely pack your aquarium with plants like I've done. You know, this is one of probably one of my least maintained tanks, to be honest with you, because they just do so well together. Uh, did I miss any? I got the glow lights. They're eating really good. The rummy nose are always acting fast. The, the diamond tetras are healthy. Everybody's healthy in here. I have not had one loss in this tank, knock on uh, wood, for a long time. And it's one of my least maintained tanks, so uh, I, get, I attribute that to the hardiness of these tetras. I wouldn't use any tetras to cycle a tank with. This, this tank is fully cycled, so I'm not saying that I would cycle a tank with tetras because I wouldn't. Uh, they, they are weaker than that. Um, I would try something else, we'll talk about it later, but showing you the, this Tetra tank is really cool and now these coolie loaches are coming out, they're smelling the food, definitely, oh there's one back there, uh, let's look at the side shall we, see this is the cool part about keeping aquariums, huh? looking for all the fish that you never see, oh but there's a, there's a cherry shrimp, look at that huh? There's a cherry shrimp. How cool is that? And I never would have thought, I know I said that before, I never would have thought the cherry shrimp would, would live. But there they are back there acting uh, like they're wanting to get some food. Now these tetras have uh, calmed down a little bit since all the food is gone. Look how fast they ate that food. I mean, it was like a minute, right? A minute or two. Now, round two. Now this is not overfeeding, okay? Because they... I'm putting the top back on because they ate it within a minute none of it well some of it fell to the ground but that's what I got bottom feeders for and of course I test the water regularly anyways we're gonna feed them some bug bites they love this stuff too this is a black soldier fly larva, uh, larva pretty much so let's take a look at that oh you can see the pleco back there he's moving around let's feed him some soldier fly larva shall we all right, here it comes, soldier fly larva. Look at that. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. Look how fast they are. They are definitely not scared to eat. Yeah. A good, varied diet is what I'd recommend. And uh, like I said, I'll put a card up there in the top somewhere to the video I show all the food that I feed. This is just uh, two or three examples today. But as you can see, a tetra tank, tetra tank would be a marvelous addition to anybody's aquarium. I would highly recommend Tetras. There's so many different varieties, so many different flavors, so many different colors that it's amazing. Look at that shrimp out there. Boom. He's like, hey, there's food. And I'm so, I learned something all the time. I would have thought at least that these black skirts or these serpes would munch on those shrimp, but they are keeping them, uh, leaving them alone. So that's good. Yeah, look at that. They just threw down on that soldier fly larva. And you can tell that they're big old chub stomach. That's when you stop feeding, when all these chub stomachs are full. And then when I turn out the lights, oh, here's, here's a nice shot of that bristle nose right there. You like that? That is nice, huh? I drop in some, some algae pellets for him, but he's like the cleaner of the, the tank. And he actually, if he wants to, he can push other fish away and he can take the algae pellet himself. I'll show you that one of these days. Leave me a comment if you want to see that, that because it's pretty cool looking. I see that my filter screen is falling off. And it's laying there, so I gotta fix that. Java fern's doing good. I need to, I see some holes in there. Are those holes? Yep, so I need to do some fertilizer here. Uh, Nubius is doing well. I had the light on too long, so I'm cutting down the light for that algae, no problem. The Java fern there. Looks like that water wisteria 
is getting eaten. <laughs> that it, it, water wisteria used to be flourishing, but something in there is eating it. I would imagine some of these tetras are mostly tetras are mostly carnivorous, so maybe that bristle nose, maybe that uh, probably the bristle nose, I would say, because he roams around. There's a nice picture of him right there. He roams around looking for vegetation, but he hadn't tore, tore that plant up before. So the latest stuff, the newest fish I got were these diamond tetras, which are beautiful. I love these diamond tetras. See how they sparkle? Wow, beautiful. So I don't, I haven't seen those nipping on those. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Well, that's okay. I can move the the stems to a different tank or just leave it be. I've got enough plants in here or I can add some more java moss in here no big deal but yeah look at these tetras oh my lord they look nice always moving around always active you want an active tank that's a community and peaceful tank that where they're not killing each other uh, the tetras is what I'd highly recommend along with these white cloud mountain minnows they are absolutely gorgeous as well but uh, we'll talk about those guys later but these tetras here yeah diamond tetras neon tetras serpes any kind of tetras i would highly recommend a tetra tank all right guys i hope you uh, got a good overview of tetras and how cool they are leave them a comment below on uh, what type of tetras that you currently have or what type of tetras that you want to get I'd recommend any one of these. Those diamond tetras, like I said, are some of the newest tetras that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these other fish in these other tanks, but I just wanted to share with you guys the love of the tetra. And if you guys like my shirt, you can get this shirt on um, fishytees.net. I'll leave a link up here, as well as check out my Instagram, at the tropical fish guy. And definitely, if you want the inside scoop on things, sign up for the newsletter, right? Sign up for the newsletter. It's tropicalfishguy.com slash sign up. And you'll get the inside scoop on tips, tricks, fascinating fish facts that you might have not already known, and some other cool stuff. So definitely sign up for the newsletter. We're doing giveaways and stuff based only on the newsletter now. And give me a like. If you like Tetris, give me a like. Comment below your favorite Tetris. Subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell notification to get notified of all these videos that I do and happy fish keeping peace out